Today we've come to Cheshire to see Mark Marshall and his business Lawn Stripes and Hedges. Mark's been testing the Sterling product range for us before we go to launch uh, to see whether it does everything we want it to do and to see whether it's going to last. Hi, I'm Mark Marshall from Lawn Stripes and Hedges. Uh, I'm an eco-friendly um, garden maintenance company in Cheshire. Mark, Lawn Stripes and Hedges has a really unusual proposition and that is an all electric machinery uh, deal for your customers. Tell us what your customers think about that. So when I first started out, um, a lot of them were surprised. Um, when I first got my electric tools out, they were like, oh, do you not, do you not need um, an extension lead? I know that they're battery powered. Um, and then once it kind of started going, I had customers ringing me. Um, I had two literally ladies around the corner of here rang me because I, I'm eco-friendly because I use batteries. So um, from the customer's perspective, a, a good, feedback a lot of them were surprised and from like um, people in the industry they was like very doubtful of they telling me oh you shouldn't do that you'd be wasting your time but um, I've used um, battery powered stuff for 24 months now and I don't think I'd well I would never go back back to uh, like a petrol um, machine. And Mark I bet your customers are really enjoying the quietness of the electric products. It was more um, in the summer um, in the suburb, I used the, the Liberty quite a lot where, because I could get out early in the morning at seven, um, get my day done quite early and then spend time with the family. So um, from a, f like a, a general day-to-day -day use, it, it worked out very beneficial for me, really. And Mark, you were talking earlier about your vans and what you're going to be doing about that. My, my, my main goal is to, is to have 10 vans on the road, all eco-friendly, all doing garden maintenance, all doing lawn care. Um, just because there's, there's no one really in my industry that are fully eco-friendly so that's kind of what made me push towards it as well as like it's, it's great for the environment and with everything going on in the world at, at the minute I think it's, it's my time, well not just mine, I think it's everybody's uh, you know, job to kind of strive to do, be a bit a little better really. Mark, we really agree with you and your, your vision for your business. It, it's absolutely great to hear that you've got such a, a firm uh, idea of what your your vision is for your business going forward. So what we've done with you, Mark, is we know that you use machinery really hard, you use it for your living, and uh, so we thought you would be absolutely ideal to take one of these Electric Liberty products before we go to launch, and you can give it a really good hard time, see if you can break it, and also we wanna hear from you what sort of uh, ideas you have about how good the product is and if there's any areas of improvement before we go to launch. Um, when, when I first, when I first obviously asked me to trial it, in regards to like cutting the grass, I know that's your bread and butter. So I was very, had high hopes um, of going into using it as this, the normal general cutting cartridge. Um, what really surprised me was the different cartridges and the new way of getting them off so quick. Um, it made my job so much easier and it actually changed my perspective of the actual mower itself because I went into it, sh I should have gone into it with an open head but I've gone into it thinking oh it's you know the scarifying cartridge isn't going to be any good or you know the the brush isn't going to be any good or the dethatch is not going to be any good but when I actually run it against my other machines it, it actually did if, a, a little bit better than them to be honest um, which surprised me. Yeah, and I really love the way that these machines collect so well. It's just so much less clearing up afterwards. It's, it's, it's obviously, when it's all, when it's done and it's fully, fully developed, I won't need to carry my scarifier with me. So that takes up like a, the size of a lawnmower uh, in my van. Um, and all the other, for how small them little cartridges are, you kind of just need one mower to do, to do the job. So it makes it um, just a lot, lot better for me really. Uh, lawn stripes are obviously really important to your business. You've even included lawn stripes in the name of your business. And your customers, these are amazing and beautiful homes that you're maintaining here in Presbury uh, near, near Macclesfield. But we also want to know about what you think about the cartridges. The Ultra Change cartridge changed so very quickly now. How are you going to be using these? Yeah, it takes five seconds to swap, to swap some over. Um, so for for me, it's you literally it's it's 
can't really put a price on it. Obviously, there's going to be a price on it, but for how quick it makes my days go, you can't put a price on that because although the machine might cost a little bit more than what it would a petrol machine, in, in reality, you've got five, six machines there for one machine, so my scarifier would cost me 1,500 quid to, to buy, whereas, you know, if I get the cartridge for this, whatever it may be, it's still not going to be that much. So, you, although, yes, it may be a little bit more, when you add them up, it's five machines. So if you bought five separate machines, you'd be talking nearly £10,000. So it's, it's good, really. And you've got to fit all these into your van as well. Yeah, and I, I mean, I've got, I've got a few vans, but uh, yeah. I'd need 20 for every single machine, yeah. And how are you going to fit all these cartridges into your van? Um, I've already got a setup, so when you open my van, they're, on, they're all, you can get five cartridges per, per side. Um, one side, because the other side I've got storage, so I can get five and two on the other. So, um, you know, you're not always going to use them cartridges every day, but um, what I was mentioning before, I went to a job and I thought, oh, I could do with giving this a light scarification. Um, and I didn't have the cartridge because I had my other van being sign written, so it, it, it annoyed me because I thought, well, I wish I would have had that cartridge now because it, it would have been nice to have it there and then. And do you have a favourite cartridge? Yes. Um, the De Thatcher. Um, I run, the reason it's my favourite is because I run it against my petrol scarifier. Um, and it, apart from the few little niggly things what, what I'd spoke about, it's, it's much, much better. Um, which surprised me. And I thought it would not do, it had not do the task what my other one did, but it did really. And even just talking to you before the interview started, you must have given us 10 new ideas for cartridges. So this is really good for us when you're testing products. Uh, it gives us some great ideas for future products. And the Scarifier cartridge is the favourite of our customers. Uh, did you use that one as well? Yeah, I've used that. I liked it. What, what I really like about it is, um, you know, moss in everybody's gardens are a constant battle. Um, and I do a lot of my either renovations at the end of the year or the start of the year. But the ones that I do, um, like this one at the start of the year, I wouldn't really want to go and run my big um, petrol scarifier over it. So with that scarifier, it just completely eradicates that. So I can go over this lawn once a month if I need to, just to keep on top of, of stuff like the moss and thatch build up. So um, yeah, I can, see, I can certainly see why it is people's favorite. And the new handlebars, Mark, what did you think of those? Um, I, lo I love the fact how sh t well together it feels. So I use a variety of different of, of manufacturers and um, that's the first mower that I felt that feels like it could last forever. Um, and I, I've got some other expensive um, brands as well, but it just doesn't feel, it feels solid. And I like the rotor shift feature on the handlebars as well, where I can change the speed on the move. Uh, I, I like it particularly because I can change the speed and go really slowly when I'm using the cultivation cartridges. Yeah, no, I, I love that as well. I love the fact because some, I love it because I, I, you scarify and you cut at different kind of speeds. So it's just easy, the fact that it's just on the handlebar just to, just to change, which is really good. And the height right system, Mark, that's the, the height of cut adjustment system. You'll be adjusting the height of cut really regularly, switching from mowing and back to cultivations now that that's so easy. Uh, what do you think of that? Um, really like it. Um, I would probably have it as quick as your release cartridge, so maybe a handle that you can move it. Um, but it's much faster than the Libita. Um, yeah, it's, um, it is really good. Because when you're scarifying, it, it's quick because if you go if you're too high you need to drop it it's that easy to use but if you had like a, a handle like you did on the other side it'd make it much quicker um, than using the roller but i don't know how, how accurate it'd be on that, on that sense as well and the grass collector we've gone away from our normal plastic molded system what do you think of that and do you think it's going to be durable durable enough for somebody that uses the machine as hard as you do yeah, def definitely. The, the style of it is much better. It's much more eco-friendly because it's not plastic. Um, so I, I'm, I'm all for that. I would make it a little bit bigger for someone in my trade, um, but for, for like a general home owner, it's, it's, it's brilliant, really. Mark, a lot of our customers are petrol engine users and they are a little bit reluctant to go over to battery. Uh, you're talking about a vision of 10 vans, 10 teams of people. That's going to mean a lot of batteries. 
tell me how you're going to work with that. I had the, the, the same kind of opinion when I went into it, but f for me, the environment, although it is, sounds really corny, it means a lot more to me than, than the difficulties of going forward with battery. So right now, is petrol better than battery? Me personally, no. And I know you have like difficulties with charging, but um, I have a setup in my van. So when I back my van up to my house, plug it in and it charges all my batteries. Um, batteries, yes, they're expensive, um, but when you take into consideration, I don't need to service it, the engine, and not gonna have a problem with if I'm on the job, the, you know, the engine might go, or you might have issues with it, spillages on customers' lawns if the engine was to go. So all the problems that petrol have it goes away then when you go into the into the battery side of things. You know, I don't have to get up in the morning and travel to a petrol station, make sure that I've got a jerry can full of fuel in my van, or um, and then if the jerry can spills in my van, I've not got all them issues that I once had uh, as completely gone now. So um, it, it it's not where it needs to be in regards to right now. But I'd rather be in the movement of actually trying and, and be that person that says, you know what, I don't want to have to change in 10 years time because the government are making a change i'd rather say well i'm already there and let other you know people catch up so i'd rather be ahead of the game and behind it as they say with, with um with my customers they um i think for them it's just it's a, bit, it's a little bit like fresh it's very fresh for the customer because it's not you're not using any any chemicals in the garden um, i i'm fully like eco-friendly in regard to my tools and my fertilizers i try to keep everything as as organic as possible um, so the customers side of things they're just i think they're just happy someone's actually trying and when you've got a lot of customers like that, that have that have um, whether they're elderly or the you know a new customer if they've got someone in the garden that cares about the environment they're going to care about the garden and they're going to they're going to be a bit more respectable in, in that sense rather than the, turn it up flying through everything with a petrol mower or whatever it may be. Um, so I think it's just very fresh for the customer. So we can find you on Instagram? Yeah, so I'm on Instagram, Facebook. Um, I've just won uh, top three landscapers in Cheshire, uh, which I got yesterday, which is great. Um, again, that's just because of, of the vision that I'm trying to succeed in, so, which, is, uh, which is good. That's great. We're really proud to be associated with you, Mark, your, your business and your sustainable vision. We, we really align on, on what it is that you want to achieve. And th thanks so much for giving the machine a, a really good try and for giving us all your really candid uh, opinions on the Sterling. Uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, it's um, it, like I say, I, I spoke to you at the start of the year and I was I wanted this machine before it had even come out. So like in my head, I was like, well, I want the Alec, uh, but uh, the Liberty, sorry, but I want to use it every day. Uh, and I did try. And uh, although the Liberty is a, an amazing mower for my own garden, um, I needed something that was a bit more robust and um, they didn't make one. So the fact that you've picked the thoughts out of my head and, and made it, it's just brilliant for me. That's really great, Mark. Uh, thanks ever so much. We're going to let you get on now and earn your living and we're going to watch you do a bit of uh, grass cutting and scarifying. Thanks again and good luck with the business.